welcome back to my channel today we're moving on to our bird itself and working on um just refining these feathers on uh, underneath the beak and then coming back around the head and we're just going to follow this s curve um that our bird is making so as usual everything is linked down below any questions let me know and we're just gonna get started okay so we're gonna start with these feathers underneath this beak and i'm just gonna take my nougat and I'm just going to come in and with my nougat, I'm just going to create some little lines. So I've got a really sharp pencil and I'm just going to use this to just create some definition at the ends of some of these feathers. So I'm not pressing too hard. I don't want this to be in your face nougat colour, but just enough that you're making a little bit of detail. And this is also just helping to define individual feathers or clumps of feathers. As we come along this be, uh, these clumps. And then I'm going to take my cold grey free. And with the cold grey free we're starting to get some darker shadows. So I'm just going to come in here again. Create like little triangular shapes. And this is just going to help us get those clumps of feathers defined. I'm not worried if I miss a clump or add an extra clump. It's completely fine. We just want the clumps to just be starting to form. I'm starting to build up that detail. Like so. Then taking my white just over the top again. And then back to that cold grey free, just going to bring in some details up on the bottom edge, build up those shadows where I need to. Back to my nugget. I'm just going to bring it in again, just on the bottom edges, little, little details. And along this bottom edge here. Okay. I'm then just taking my slice tool and I'm just going to come in and just bring in some extra details. Just little flyaways, little highlights for these clumps. Remember that your slice tool won't work if you don't have enough layers down. So if you're finding you're not being able to pull the pigment, um, you need more layers. So just go back, build up your layers a bit more and then you should be able to just remove the top pigment and bring in those details. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's keep moving down our bird. So again, I'm just going to come in and just lift a little bit of this graphite and then my warm grey one as a base layer. And again, I'm just following that direction of the feathers. I nearly said fur. We are drawing feathers. <laughs> and we're just going to build up underneath here. Same way that we did before. So we're a nice layer of the warm grey one. Now, as we come down here, we're getting a bit darker. So I'm going to use my warm grey two over the top of that warm grey one, just to build up the depth. And again, this is adding layers so that I can go in with that slice tool and build up some details as well. Okay. So we've got a darker patch um, on our bird. So I'm going to come in with a burnt umber. Um, and as I'm following here, starting here, and there's a clump, a little, a little triangle to signify a clump, and that's going to be darker. And I'm just going to blend that burnt umber very lightly. You can see I'm not pressing hard. Very lightly. I'm sorry about the camera wobbling. 
try to stabilise it as best I can. And then we're just going to bring that burnt umber down here. Okay, I'm going to take the uh, nugget again on the ends of these feathers, just creating details. It's more, at the moment, it's more about building up some colour. So colours on the ends and then that slice tool just brings in some extra detail where I need it. And then the uh, cold grey free over the top of all of this. And again, I'm following the uh, feather direction and I'm building in some little details where I can see them. So I've got sharp pencils. The details are quite small, so don't worry if you don't see them. But as you're building up your feathers with the directions that you're drawing your pencil strokes in, you'll notice that you're building up detail. And along the beak here. Okay, and then I'm going to go over that with the white. Okay, so I do need to darken up here a bit more. So I'm going to take my warm grey four. And I'm just going to start to darken this up. So a bit of a harder pressure, but I want it to be nice and dark. I want this to signify we've got a shadow. And that's running down that clump of feathers there. And again, as I come here, there's a shadow there. Running down that clump of feathers. And you can bring that a bit further down. I'm just going over some of these shadows. Just building up a little bit more depth. Okay. That in there. And then that warm grey far down here. We start to build up a shadow in there. And then I'm going to take my um, cold grey two. Uh, cold grey free, sorry. Along here as well. And then my warm grey two over the top, and that warm grey two is just going to act as a blender. So it's just going to help us blend these layers together. But again, we're building up those layers so that we can get that slice tool in. Okay, I'm going back to my burnt umber. Just going to darken this clump. So I'm now starting to build up the details within the feathers. So I'm just bringing it again along here. So building up that shadow on these clumps. Back to the one gray far. Remember that it's quite a small area, so the detail's not going to be that large. You just want that almost like an essence, that there is a little detail going on there. <sighs> Got to build up of feathers, but you're not going to get all the detail in. If it was larger, then we could, definitely. And then I'm just going to do the 1 grade 2 again, and then I'm going to bring the slice tool in. So I've got the slice tool. And I'm just going to start to take away the top layer. The pigment. Ever so gently. I don't need loads. I just want it to be almost just the indication. of there being some detailing and there being some feather work. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm now going to move on to the top of our bird's head. Um, and I'm just going to lift the graphite. Remember, we're doing white, so we want to make sure that graphite's lifted. And then I'm going to take my cold grey one 
and I'm not going to press too hard but we're going to use the cold grey one as a base layer so medium pressure you want it to be just touching the paper but you don't want it to be flattening the tooth of the paper at all you can see just how light I'm going in with my pressure so hold your pencil about halfway up if you struggle with pressure Okay, just going to remove a bit more graphite and making sure I'm removing that graphite as I do each little section of this head. And again, I'm following that feather direction. They're quite clumped together on the face. Um, and then I'm going to take my white and with the white, I'm going to press a little harder. <sighs> Make sure you clean it. I've got some little marks on there now. Um, I'm going to press a little harder with a white, but you don't want to press too hard because you want to be able to draw over the top of it. Okay. Right, I'm then going to take my core grey two along this bottom corner. So we're just going to start to build up some depth in our feathers. Just along the bottom edge, and I'm also going to take the one grey far, uh, one grey four, sorry. Again, just to blend and darken up some of these shadowed areas. Now I've got a bit of a creamy colour going on, so I'm going to get my ivory, um, which I thought I had out. Obviously not. Hang on. So with the ivory, you're not going to press too hard. I've got it nice and sharp. Again, light pressure just along this edge, and that's just going to bring that creamy yellow colour in. And then I can take that white again, press a little, oh, keep, make sure you clean it. You don't want those dark lines like I'm getting. And then press harder with that white, and that'll just really push that pigment into the paper okay right so as we come back down here I'm gonna get my cold grey one and again I'm not pressing too hard and I'm just gonna build up um, this section of the uh, white fur or feathers sorry fur feathers <laughs> similar techniques that's all we need to know so again following the direction and yes, you'll get bored of me saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it. It's always about that direction. And then I'm just going to take my warm grey one. It's a bit warmer under here, so I'm just going to bring that warm grey and then I will mix the warm grey and the cold grey in that middle area to blend the two areas together so I get a cold grey one and go over that warm grey just in the middle section here we get a nice blend of the two colours okay so I'm going to take my um, ivory again press a little harder we've definitely got a yellowish shine which has been reflected from that beak into this area here and then take my cold grey two build up some little details so again these details are going in the direction that these little feathers are okay and take my cold grey free just want a little bit more definition at the bottom edges so harder pressures i'm pressing on and then i'm lifting the pencil and lifting the pressure off the paper
Okay, I'm just going to take my slice tool. I'm just going to bring some of that, the white feathers over that beak. Okay, I'm just going to get my uh, terracotta. And I'm just going to come down into that those feathers. So you can see I'm just creating that look that that beak is behind these white feathers and that they're overlapping uh, our beak. And then the one grey four. And again, just going to bring in the detailing. This bottom edge of our bird. You get my warm grey free just in here because it's darker but it's not as dark as the warm grey four and I can also use this warm grey free just to create some little feather details on here so making sure that these little detailed lines are going in the direction of the feathers I just need to sharpen this you want a really sharp pencil when we're doing these fine details Okay, so I've just sharpened that and I'm just going to come in really fine little details, just following that direction of those, these little feathers, clumps of feathers. And I'm going to do a cold grey free on this top half, blend it down into. Now remember, be careful with this blue when you're getting near the yellows, because we don't want it to go green on this white bit of on this white feathering we do need to be careful okay oh it's coming on right back to my cold grey one and i'm just going to bring it again very gently i don't want to mix a green on the top of this feathers and light pressure again doesn't need to be too bright And bring that down and then my uh, one grey one again I'm just going to lift some of the graphite and I'm just going to cover it right down under here because we're going to build up how dark that area is going to go Just going to bring that cold grey one back. In that middle section there. And then the warm grey one. Just overlapping that warm grey one and the cold grey one. So I'm taking my cold grey four. And I'm going to bring this in underneath. Um, our bird here in this shadow area so that we get a bluish tone when I go in with the warmer tones again I'm just following the shapes that I can see and it's quite out of focus here so I'm just making sure that my pencil strokes are going in the direction that the feathers are but we don't need to bring in as much detail as we have done Okay, and then back to my burnt umber. And then over the top of all that, I'm going to take my one grey six. it's a very dark shadow so even though this is a white bird we're going quite dark with our shadows and it will all come together once we've built up all the colours elsewhere it's really going to come together and then I'm going to take my warm grey two, and that'll help with the blending
just on there. Okay. I'm just going to take my dark sepia because I really want to get this shadow built up. And again, I'm blending it downwards so that it blends into these feathers. Just really darkening this shadow to show that those feathers on top are above this section. And that bit needs to just be quite dark here. So I'm not pressing hard with the sepia. I don't want it to look black. I just want to darken this up. And then I'm just darkening up along here. Just bringing those shadows together. I'm going to go back in with my burnt umber. So it's a bit of back and forth till we build up that depth that I'm after. And then my one by two, just up this end. Okay, let's get in there. Right, <laughs> uh, back to my one by two, make it nice and sharp. And again, I'm just going to build up the depth to these feathers. Little short lines in the direction that the feathers are going with a one by two, first of all. I'm going to bring some of the other greys in soon. But you can see we're starting to really build up the white feathers and it's on white paper but we're still making it look like white feathers. It's one of my favourite things to do is uh, anything white on white paper. I'm taking my ivory again along the top edge of these feathers. And you can see I'm light pressure because you don't want this to go too green. Okay, and then my um, cold grey two. And you can see we're using so many colours already within these feathers. I'm not using white to create white. And we've gone quite dark. I'm going to take my uh, one grey free, uh, cold grey free. Just want to build some little details. So any areas where you can see little shadows, I'm going to add them in with the cold grey free. We do little cross hatches to show the little different areas that the ferret feathers are going in. Um, I'm going to take my warm grey free on this bottom edge because it is warmer. Again, short pencil strokes just to build up these feathers. And then I'm going to go over this with the white, but with the white, make sure that you're doing it in the direction that the feathers are going. So we've got feathers coming upwards, but these feathers down here are going down. And again, this is just building up my layers. So if I need to go in with the slice tool, I can. Because um, I do kind of want to come in here with the slice tool. I just want to build up a little detail.
like so. Okay. Okay, back to the feathers around the eye. So just once again, lifting that graphite. And I'm going to take my cold grey one as a base layer. And I'm going to press a little harder just around this edge where we've got a bit of shadow and then br uh, lighter pressure as we're coming closer to the eye. I'm also going to take my ivory, got a bit of a yellow tinge on these bottom edges. Just going to bring that in. And then back to the ivory, uh, back to the cold grey one, sorry. And blend that downwards. And I'm just going to blend outwards here, just so that we can work our way back on this head. I'm not quite sure how much of this head will get done today, so we're just going to keep going. <laughs> um, I'm then going to take my cold grey two, and I'm just going to build in some of those little clumps that I can see, clumps of feathers. So I'm still treating it like clumps and clusters of fur, but it's just feathers. just building up these little clumps that I can see and then we do have a darker shadow coming in here which we will map in but I'm just going to map it in first of all with the cold grey 2 and I'm just going to keep bringing this cold grey 2 around here just all I'm doing is just mapping in those shadows those clumps of feathers that I can see Okay, so I can see that there is a darker um, shadow in there, so I'm going to take my warm grey 6, nice and sharp, and I'm just going to come right up to this eye first of all, where it's nice and dark, and I'm just going to map in that dark shape that I can see. This is all just warm grey 6, hard pressure, I'm going to blend in that round the eye there. And then it comes up here. So just mapping those shadows, that's all we're doing. And don't worry if it's not as accurate as the reference photo, nobody's going to see, the feathers are going to move. We want it to be similar, we don't want it to be exact. And then we also have a shadow coming down here. Just blend that outwards. Okay, so I'm going back to my warm grey, uh, cold grey one. I'm just going to bring this in. So it's all about building up layers again. And then my uh, warm grey two. I'm just going to bring in some warmth. Again, following those feather directions. Like so, and then the cold grey one. Again, light pressure, I'm not pressing hard. And then I can bring that white in. Okay, just going to lift some more graphite. Okay, so back to my cold grey one. Light pressure again, I'm not pressing hard, I want to just slowly build this up so that it's all very subtle. And as I come further down here, I'm just going to increase the pressure ever so slightly with the cold grey one now. Because this area I can see is really blue in tone. Which is why we're using the cold grey one. I'm using the cold grey one where I can see the blue tones. The warm grey one where I can see the more warmer tones where it's not as blue. And the ivory where I can see those yellow tones. I'm 
Okay, just going to again lift this graphite because we're coming quite far down here now. I don't want any of this graphite to be showing because it will show through the coal greys. And because it's white, we don't want any graphite lines to be showing through on the final piece. And I'm just going to keep bringing this coal grey worn around here. Now, I haven't erased this graphite here. I'm going to come back as we come back up this head. Just going to do this area first. And you can see just how light that pressure is. I'm holding the pencil further up the pencil so that I can't press hard. So my pencil is just touching the paper and just leaving that pigment down. Okay, I'm then going to take my coal grey too. And I'm taking this because I just want to build it up the layers very subtly. I'm not quite sure how dark I need to go. So rather than going straight in with a darker pencil, I'm going to just take my time and build up the colour. So with the coal grey too, going to come down here and I'm just going to start to bring some of these feathers and the details coming in this direction. Small pencil strokes. And the feathers are quite compact on this part of the head. And again they're going that way as well. So we're just getting some different directions. It's just building up these clumps of fur quite nicely. Uh, clumps of feathers, sorry. I'm going to keep saying fur because I'm so used to drawing fur. <laughs> and again, just following the feather direction. Small pencil strokes. I probably will come in with my slice tool as well, just to build some definition, bring out some extra highlights. But I'm liking this so far. Quite pleased we decided to do a bird. Okay, so I'm going to take my warm grey too. We've got some warm tones down here. Just coming down here again, following the feather direction. I'm going to come down this face. Again, I've not removed that graphite yet, so I'm not going right up to that graphite, but just bringing it close enough and blending upwards. It's the cold grey too. And then I can take my white and I can just go over this area that we've just added. Again, it's just about building up layers so that I can come in with my slice tool and add those details. Okay, right, so I'm just going to come in now with my um, ivory. So just got my ivory now, very light pressure, but we've got this yellowish, creamish tone coming on. Not pressing too hard, I don't want it to be like in your face like the beak. <laughs> just want that hint of the ivory. Especially over this eye. Okay, and then again my white. Harder pressure when it comes to the white. Okay, so hopefully you can see, hang on, 
there. So hopefully you can see that we've got this white feathers starting to appear on the white paper. So we've got the white paper around here. You can see that we've still got this bird looking like it's got white feathers, but we are building up those white um, tones. So I'm just going back to my core grey free and I just want to start building up some detail around here. It's just looking a little scruffy now. So we want to build up detail. So sharp pencils and I'm just going to again follow the direction that these feathers are going in. And I've got a really sharp pencil so that I can do this, but I will come in with my slice tool as well to build up some of the extra details that I need to. Especially on this head, it's quite detailed. Just bringing in these little feather details. I'm going to go to my uh, one grey two. Just a bit of a warm colour coming through here, so I'm just going to bring that in as well. Okay, that's my core grey two. Again, just building up details within this section of the feathers. Right, I'm going to take now my, I'm going to stick to my one grey two. Very lightly though, I just want to bring some little details where we've got this ivory. So I'm going to stick to the warm colour because that'll go with that ivory layer that we've got. And it's just bringing in some little details of those feathers. Okay, back to my putty eraser. I'm just going to lift along the top of this head. Again, my cold grey one, very light pressure. I'm just going to bring my um, piece of paper on. Oh, let me lift that graphite. Light pressure again. It's very light on top of the head. Now, obviously, we've got um, on the reference photo, it's up against a blue background. And we're doing it on white paper. So the way that I'm going to do it is I'm just going to have this top of the head almost look like it's just fading into the paper. We've got vanishing lines. So we just light, light pressure with the cold grey wool. And again, just bringing it down this head. Okay. And I'm going to get my ivory because there is still a bit of a yellowish tone, very light pressure. So I'm holding the pencil further back so that I'm not pressing hard. Just going to run it across the top of this head ever so lightly. And then my white, and I'm going to use my white with harder pressure um, to really burnish and push that pigment into the paper. But just so we don't need to press too hard with that cold grey one. It's just enough. It's just subtle enough. To give us a really nice effect on our bird. Right, so back to my one grey two. And as we come up here, we've got some... So this is just adding these little details now. Starting to really build on the detail on our bird's head. Coming up from this bottom section first. This is all with the warm grey too. I'm not pressing too hard. I want some of this to be quite subtle. And then I can go back in with my white and just to really soften it down and blend it out. Keeping this warm grey too, just very gently. I want it to stay quite soft and light on top of this head, but there is some little details coming along here.
and then every time I'm just going back in with that white because it really just softens down these details just lets me build on top of it and just create this bird looking really soft quite put together quite a distinguished bird isn't it <laughs> uh, back to my cold grey too and also the more layers I build up the more I'll be able to go in with that slice tool and bring out some extra details with the slice tool so I use the slice tool to obviously remove pigment, but it is all about building up extra details with it. By almost drawing in those highlights with the slice tool. So this is cold grade two, I'm just gonna darken here as well. And then my uh, cold grade four. I'm not pressing too hard with the cold grey four. I don't want it to be too dark, but it's definitely darker. And I'm just going to do some little cross hatching here. Light pressure. And then my white. Oh, the top there. Okay, right, so if I got my slice tool, I can then come in with this slice tool and I can just bring out some little highlights, little details, constantly cleaning my blade because it does pick up the pigment. And again, I'm just using this in the same way with a pencil, same direction that those feathers are going in. And we're just removing that top layer of pigment. And it'll be quite subtle, will this effect, but it just really brings another dimension to the painting, uh, the drawing, painting. Like so. And then I also know I can look back and I can go, okay, I need to add detail here. I need to bring detail in here. So it really does help the piece come together. Okay, so I'm just going to my dark, uh, my warm grey six. Just going to bring this darker line in here. And I just need to darken along this edge. Okay, and then back to my cold grey um, three. I'm just gonna again build up some little details. And this this point is just how much detail do you want to add in your bird? Do you want more detail? Do you want less detail? You don't need to go as detailed as I am. I like a lot of detail in my work, doesn't necessarily mean you need to add it all in yours. My warm grey two. Just bring that down there. Right, okay, so um let's get our putty eraser again. And I'm just gonna again, as usual, lift graphite as we come down here my one grey one following that direction oops sorry stomach is making noises I have eaten <laughs> okay that's the one grey one there then picking up my warm grey four, we've got a shadow again, so I'm just going to bring these shadows in with the warm grey four. Again, following that fur, uh, feathered um, direction. I really want to say fur every time, every time I want to say fur. I've been doing this quite a lot. 
a lot of fur recently, so I need to say feathers. <laughs> the warm grey free. And I'm just using the warm grey free to help blend. And then I'm going to take my cold grey two because it is blending into that colder area over the top of that warm grey one. And then my white to help with the blood. Back to the warm grey fawn. and it's just now about just building up this layer, this shadow, to the point that I'm happy with. Warm grey two, warm grey two just helps with that blending as well, smoothing it out. And then the white. Okay, I'm going to take my core grey free again. Just bring in some detail. So some little definition what what those feathers are doing. I laid quite flat on this face, so we want to create that impression that they're not sticking out that they're quite flat laid flat against the face i'm just going to bring that cold gray free up here a bit more as well okay right my putty eraser i'm going to lift some of this graphite as usual so that we can go in with the cold grey one and the white. So cold grey one. Nice light pressure. I'm not pressing hard. And then the white. Harder pressure with that white just to push that cold grey one into the paper. So it's taken a little longer than I expected to this part of the um, head, but I'm happy with where we are getting with it. One grey two. We're not far off either. We're coming down this neck. We're just going to work our way around the S shape that it's creating. And to finish this little bird off. Cold grey one. again I'm just using that white cleaning my white off ever so often and then I can just use that white to burnish and blend okay okay I just want to tidy this underneath section so I'm coming back with my warm grey four and I'm just going to start to just bring in some extra details, but really be fine. This underneath section of the neck and the head, I guess, because this part is still part of the head. Bring in some here. Okay, and then my uh, one grey six. I'm 
Again, I'm using sharp pencil strokes as I do this. So it's just starting to really redefine these areas. Uh, for my warm grey three, and I'm adding extra little details. It's just going to bring this piece together. I feel this bottom area looks a little bit rushed in comparison. Even though it's not being rushed, it just doesn't look finished. And that's all we're doing. We're just coming in, making it look a little bit more refined and finished. This is the warm grey free still. And then the warm grey two. Okay, that looks better. Right, and then I'm going to take my cold grey two and just bring in, in some detail. Just where we need it. Okay, my warm grey one. I'm not pressing hard because we've got the ivory and the coal grey, but very gently with a warm grey one. Again, just bringing in a little bit more depth on our bird. Okay. And then I'm going to take my coal grey free. Just over here and then the white and I think before I move on any further we'll end this part of the tutorial here because we're going to start coming down the neck next and I don't want to uh, start another section when we've pretty much finished this head so I think this is a good place to stop so let me zoom out and we can see the piece so far so this is where we are on our bird we've uh, got all these feathers in underneath the beak may need to refine here a little bit more um, and we've started bringing in our feathers and the head coming down into the neck so the next part we will um, keep coming down our s shape and yeah, won't be long and we'll have a bird. So I hope you've enjoyed this part of the tutorial and I will see you all in the next part. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Any comments, let me know down below. Uh, yeah, bye everybody.